Hey everyone, it's Max here from Reptile Fanatics. So what I've got here guys is Terrium for Japanese Fire Belly Newts. Now these guys come all the way from Japan. That's right, Japan. So there's two types you can get in New Zealand, Chinese and Japanese. And Newts generally like slow moving water. Generally in Japan in the wild you'll find them in slow moving streams, bottles of water, or little piles of water where they're just sitting in the leaves. They're basically like still water. This is a kind of similar environment. I mean, this is a terrarium, right? I made this for two baby Japanese fiber-laden newts. It's got duckweed. It's got about an inch and a half of water. It's got rocks, pebbles, stones. As you can see, this is in the evening. So enough water for them to, I guess, once they start getting their aquatic feet. Now, when babies first start, they start in a axolotl phase, as you can see, right? Then they will slowly morph to a very terrestrial version of themselves. So a lot of people don't know is that newts actually start out in the water. Then they'll morph into a... I guess a terrestrial phase where they're like a little lizard super cute super small and then they'll generally start becoming a lot more curious about water when they get more exposed to water so i had them in a smaller jar now i've got them in a much bigger terrarium and these guys have a mix of both so they've got about 70 percent maybe even closer to 50 percent of water to land they've got driftwood rock sand pebbles vegetation and of course their water with their duckweed now these guys are no joke they eat white worms so generally live uh, insects, uh, when they're on land, they generally like wingless fruit flies, white worms, lots of protein, something that's actively moving. Once they're back in the water as adults, then you can generally feed them, feed them like frozen blood worms. Um, things, that are, <clears throat> things that don't have to be moving consistently, but they do love uh, their live food, right? Like, like any animal, so this is what white worms look like, very small. Essentially what you've got here is... Now I'm removing a bit of driftwood. So I want to feed these guys. This is the evening. They're quite active in the evening, but they've been hiding under their driftwood a lot, but they're still very, very voracious eaters. Now, as you have noticed, one has gone into the water, which is really, really cool to see. One is finally getting more more used to the water. Now I know what you're thinking. He's probably scared and he's trying to run away. That is correct. He is, but they both used to just run on land and used to avoid water like the plague. This one's a very voracious eater. Uh, the other one is also voracious eater, but as you can see, he's emerging from the water. I guess trying to find some shelter. I'll put their driftwood back in a second. I just want to show you guys how the baby Japanese in their morphed phase, how these newts look, right? Very much like a miniature size of their adult phase. That beautiful orange stripe they will lose over time. But anyway, guys, I love amphibians. I love reptiles. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.